Six knots on 150 meters. Transition complete. Propeller locked. 90 Congratulations. In 1886, German engineer Godrip Daimler installed a self-developed automobile engine in a horse-drawn carriage, eventually achieving an astonishing speed of 18 kilometers per hour, officially introducing humanity's first four-wheeled vehicle. This invention ushered in the automobile era, and to this day, most cars still fall within this basic design framework. But now, China's E20 EVTOL rotorcraft may revolutionize all of this. In 2023, China officially launched its independently developed E20 EVTOL, successfully completing its first round of flight tests. As a purely electric aircraft, it has a payload of 450 kilograms and can reach a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Over the past few years, this air taxi has conducted test flights at numerous international exhibitions and has won recognition in several countries, including the UAE. Just two weeks ago, the UAE company Autocraft invested $1 billion to order 350 Chinese E20 air taxis. This is China's largest overseas order in this field to date, and it also sends a clear signal to the world. Chinese-made air taxis are reliable. In today's video, we'll explain why the UAE is willing to spend so much money on a Chinese air taxi and what's so special about the E20 VTOL. If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now, let's get into today's topic. Over the past 100 years, the automotive industry has undergone countless technological revolutions from initial manual assembly to the introduction of assembly lines for mass production. From simple mechanical structures to today's highly electronic, intelligent, and complex systems. It can be said that every step in the evolution of the automobile has driven the progress of modern industry. But human imagination has never stopped at making cars run on land. People have long wondered whether it's possible to make cars fly. In 1949, American Moore Taylor designed a flying car called the Aero Car. Its folding wings were a truly innovative design at the time. Thanks to these wings, the Aero Car became the first truly land and air vehicle. Its top speed on the ground was approximately 100 kilometers per hour. Once airborne, it could reach speeds approaching 180 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, the project was not widely promoted at the time. This was partly because the target user base was very limited and partly because people's mindsets were not yet open. Most people were still hesitant or even rejected this flying car. However, decades later, China has seized this overlooked opportunity. As we all know, China's electric vehicle industry has experienced rapid development over the past decade with various technologies undergoing continuous upgrades and iterations. Against this backdrop, Chinese engineers have developed the world's first true air taxi. As far as I know, the most representative project in China's air taxi sector is the E20 VTOL. This aircraft was developed by a Shanghai-based technology company. They invested over $3 billion in R&D to master key core technologies, such as tilt rotors and flight control systems. From a design perspective, the E20 EVTOL boasts several highlights. It utilizes a tilt rotor configuration, combined with Sure Technologies' independently developed tilt control law, enabling extremely precise flight control. The aircraft is also equipped with large diameter, low-speed five-blade propellers, which effectively control noise during takeoff and landing, keeping it to around 70 decibels, roughly as quiet as a regular car. And when in cruise mode, its presence is virtually unnoticeable on the ground. The E20 EVTOL utilizes an 800V high-voltage architecture, significantly improving charging speeds while reducing energy consumption by approximately 15%. The aircraft also features a unique integrated battery and wing design, resulting in a lighter aircraft and a solid foundation for efficient flight. The E20 EVTOL boasts exceptional performance. It features fixed wings similar to traditional aircraft, 
but is equipped with six rotors, four of which are tiltable, while the remaining two lock after takeoff to reduce drag during flight. As a pure electric aircraft, optimized motors and electrical architecture enable a maximum range of 200 kilometers, a cruising speed of 260 kilometers per hour, and a maximum speed of 320 kilometers per hour. In terms of payload, it has a five-seater configuration, accommodating one pilot and four passengers, a payload capacity of 450 kilograms, and a wingspan of 12 meters. Its cruising altitude typically ranges between 300 and 600 meters, with a maximum altitude of 3,000 meters. However, many believe that the design and manufacture of air taxis may not be the most difficult part. The real challenge lies in whether they can actually be put into practical use and whether ordinary people are willing to accept this new mode of transportation. However, judging by China's planning, they have actually thought it through clearly. The commercial application of the E20 EV TOL is currently divided into three phases. The first phase primarily aims to replace traditional helicopters for low-altitude tourism in suburban areas and scenic areas. For example, at large resorts, visitors can directly take in the E20 EV TOL and experience a completely different visual experience from the air over the entire scenic area. The second phase will see it applied to short-distance transportation scenarios of 30 to 150 kilometers, such as rapid transfers from high-speed rail stations to scenic spots, or for people traveling between cities within a short distance. In the third phase, it will be available to a wider range of ordinary people, integrating into daily urban commutes, such as flying from the city center to surrounding areas, truly becoming a key component of future urban air mobility systems. Of course, the ultimate goal of the E20 EV TOL is to showcase China's aircraft and vehicle technology to the world, so test flights and demonstrations are necessary in several countries. Last May, China's E20 EV TOL successfully completed its maiden flight test in Dubai, UAE. At the demonstration site, the E20 EV TOL was quietly parked in a designated area. Its sleek, technologically advanced design immediately attracting considerable attention. At the command of a Chinese technician, the E20 EV TOL slowly started up, its multiple rotors spinning at high speed, emitting a gentle humming sound that contrasted sharply with the resounding roar of traditional helicopters. Stop forward transition. Soon, it smoothly achieved vertical takeoff. Fixed wing mode activated. Transition complete. Propeller locked. And rapidly climbed to its predetermined low altitude, cruising altitude. The rotors then began to tilt, adjusting the fuselage's attitude accordingly, and it smoothly entered forward flight. Throughout the flight, the E20 EVTOL soared across Dubai at a cruising speed of up to 260 kilometers per hour. Taking off from near the Burj Khalifa, it reached the Dubai Marina area within minutes. This distance, while traveling by ground transportation, especially during rush hour, could take hours. The E20 EV TOL completed the flight in just over 10 minutes. Even more impressive, it demonstrated its ability to nimbly navigate complex urban environments. Leveraging advanced sensor systems and intelligent flight control technology, the E20 EV TOL accurately identified potential obstacles, such as surrounding buildings and other low-flying aircraft, and rapidly adjusted its course, ensuring both efficiency and safety. For landing, the E20 EV TOL tilted its rotors again, smoothly transitioning back to vertical takeoff and landing mode, and finally landed gently at the designated location, bringing the demonstration to a perfect conclusion. The UAE audience, including government transportation officials, aviation experts, commercial investors, and the general public, who witnessed the flight demonstration, were all impressed by the performance of the Chinese E20 EVTOL. UAE officials have shown great interest in this air taxi, believing that if it can be used on a large scale in the future, it will greatly alleviate the UAE's increasingly serious ground transportation pressure. On July 16th, the UAE and China officially signed a massive $1 billion order in Shanghai for 350 of China's independently developed 
E20 EVTOL aircraft. This is currently the largest single purchase agreement in China's EVTOL sector. The E20 EVTOL's airworthiness certification application has been officially accepted by the Civil Aviation Administration of East China and is currently undergoing conformity verification. China is expected to commence mass production and deliver the first batch of aircraft to the UAE in 2027, following completion of airworthiness certification. This begs the question, why did the UAE choose China's E20 EVTOL? What attracted them to this aircraft? In fact, the UAE's purchase of China's E-20 EVTOL has a specific developmental significance. As the economic center and tourist hotspot of the Middle East, the UAE is experiencing rapid urbanization and a continuously growing population, which is putting increasing pressure on urban traffic. Take Dubai, for example. This international metropolis is teeming with skyscrapers, but ground transportation is often completely gridlocked during rush hour increasing commuting times by over 10% for many people. This severely impacts urban efficiency and reduces residents' quality of life. The E20 EVTOL, on the other hand, does not require a traditional runway and can be flexibly configured with takeoff and landing points within the city. This flexibility can alleviate traffic congestion in densely urbanized areas like the UAE. From a tourism perspective, the UAE has been striving to become a top global tourist destination, attracting thousands of international visitors each year. Iconic attractions like desert scenery, artificial islands, and super tall buildings are inherently visually striking. Combined with an aerial perspective, the experience is even more enhanced. Therefore, the introduction of the E20 EVTOL will open up a new aerial tourism route allowing visitors to admire the unique scenery of the UAE from above and injecting new vitality into the local tourism industry. However, some Western countries have raised concerns, claiming that the Chinese-made E20 EVTOL is unsafe. Is this true? In my opinion, the E20 EVTOL's success in the global EVTOL market stems not only from its exceptional technical capabilities, but also from the fact that safety was a paramount concern during its development. The E20 features multiple independent and reliable power systems for redundant powertrain design. These systems operate independently, so if one fails, the others can immediately take over and continue providing power, ensuring flight safety. At the same time, the E20 uses distributed electric propulsion technology, that is, it distributes power to multiple motors and rotors, which improves flight stability and further enhances safety. Regarding avionics, the E20's avionics display system utilizes domestically produced core hardware and operating systems, boasting powerful computing capabilities. It can render 4K level aeronautical charts and support the real-time overlay of multiple HD video sources, enabling it to easily handle high load operations in complex flight environments. Furthermore, this system utilizes a dual redundant architecture, enabling seamless millisecond level failover between the primary and backup systems. Even in the event of a system failure, the continuous display of critical flight data is guaranteed, providing pilots with accurate, stable, and reliable information support, ensuring comprehensive flight safety. If the UAE verifies the safety, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness of China's E20 EVTOL in actual operations, the demonstration effect will be enormous. After all, traffic congestion and inefficient travel aren't unique to the UAE. They are common challenges faced by many cities during their development. Countries like India and Brazil, with rapidly urbanizing populations and extremely congested ground transportation, have long struggled with traffic bottlenecks in their major cities. Once other countries see that the UAE has significantly improved commuting efficiency through air taxis, they will certainly have a strong interest in China's E20 EVTOL. To not miss out on our future projects and news updates, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We will continue to provide you with more exciting and interesting content.